Watch us transform this bathroom floor with two types of peel and stick. Hi guys, welcome to our channel. We're Darren Sinocula of DIY Power Couple. And in this video, we'll share our peel and stick story of two transformations in one bathroom. We can't wait to show you how good it looks now. So stay to the end to see how it turns out. So let me tell you a little story. We were able to get the look of stone and ceramic with peel and stick. This was our very first DIY home improvement project and we were changing out the toilet, painting walls. We painted our vanity for the first time and built a frame around our mirror. And now it was time to make over the floor. Back then, we didn't realize that we could have used peel and stick tiles right on top of our vinyl flooring. So we ended up scraping it off to the concrete subfloor. We went to the store and got this stone looking peel and stick tile right here. And I think the guy at the home improvement um, store, yeah, at the home improvement <laughs> store said you can also grout it. We loved it, and our first experience was great. That was our introduction to peel and stick. Then we had a pipe leak. Oh my gosh. The leak not only destroyed our bathroom flooring, but our hardwood floors as well. We came to the realization that we have a big DIY project ahead of us. So I got the kids and the floor scraper and we just went to work on it. The nice thing about all of this is that the entire family came together. We had an option in this case if we wanted to do the ceramic tile or we wanted to do peel and stick. So the good thing that came out of it is that we were able to tile again with hexagon peel and stick tiles. Dry layouts definitely help with all of our projects. And if you are considering this DIY to peel and stick a bathroom floor, make sure you check out our peel and stick flooring playlist. Hey guys, make sure you hit that subscribe button and share this video with your family and friends. Hexagon tiles have a lot of sides and they also require a lot of patience. The repair to our concrete subfloor was a little uneven. So the smaller hexagon tiles were a little bit more challenging with getting them to stick. But we still did not use an extra adhesive for these tiles.
the challenge with grouting hexagon tiles is that you have to make all of your grout lines look even. Yes, and there's a lot of them. There's a lot of grout lines, and you have to use a lot of spacers. We also let the tiles set overnight before we applied the gray vinyl grout. Which made it look really nice. We always wanted to paint our tub and this was the perfect opportunity while we waited for the grout to dry. We will leave a link to all the bathroom DIY projects in the description. Kill and Stick, in our opinion, is a great choice for small bathrooms. We hope you've enjoyed watching this small bathroom flooring transformation with Peel and Stick tiles. Thank you for watching and we hope that you'll check out our Peel and Stick flooring playlist. There you'll see all of our Peel and Stick flooring projects and they'll give you ideas and new tips, new tips, everything that you'll need to know for Peel and Stick. <laughs>